Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining me for another video. Um, following up from yesterday's pre-Hasbro Pulse Con um, sort of reveals that popped up over Instagram uh, yesterday, I will be breaking down all the official reveals from Hasbro Pulse Con 2020, um, including the Vintage Collection and the Black Series line. Uh, I'm going to kick off with the Vintage Collection. Um, so first of all, big news, uh, HasLab has been announced. It's the Razor Crest baby from the Mandalorian. Uh, it is currently, I think it was, you know, nearly half back last time I was checked. They're in 6,000 backers at $350 US each. Um, I, of course, can't back it because I'm not in North America. So we'll have to wait to see whether they do a eBay thing like they did with the barge. That was how I was able to get it last time, uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I know... Recently, Zing Pop Culture here in Australia did put up pre-orders for the Sentinel, um, which is for the Marvel Legends line, which got backed exponentially. Um, and word on the street is that they did pull those orders down and uh, cancelled them all. So I'm not sure how true that is. I'm not sure whether they just had a cutoff limit and they sold out their allocation. So I'm not sure, but it looks stunning. Go over to HasbroPulse.com. Um, I'm pretty sure, you just search for HasLab Razor Crest. Um, you can find all the great pictures. And, you know, if you're a, if you're not a stranger to the internet, you've probably already seen it floating around everywhere anyway. It looks incredibly detailed. Um, looking forward to seeing how this goes. I can't remember when the release is. Um, it must be late 2020, um, but we'll see. I will probably try and get one at some point. Um, obviously, sadly, I can't back it. So I won't be able to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, so like I said, vintage collection, six figures were revealed. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit ranty here, I'm sorry. Just let me get the bad out of the way and then we'll get onto some Black Series goodness. Um, I wish it wasn't this way, but you know, Hasbro just keeps pushing it. Uh, the three and three quarter, they keep saying they're, they're really behind the line, uh, but what they're putting out in terms of individual figures just isn't cutting it at the moment. So yeah, six figures were revealed, five of them are repacks, and one the one new figure, it's you know, it's a it's a variation of an existing figure, um, is an exclusive, which is you know, it's a bit shit, let's be honest. So out of the four figures, four of the figures uh, they're putting under the banner of uh, the vintage collection hits. Um, they include peasant disguise Anakin Skywalker, which we've seen before, same card. Uh, Padme Amidala in a sort of one of her black dresses from The Phantom Menace. It wasn't a very long scene. Um, I can't even remember which scene it was from. Uh, the B1 Battle Droid, which, yeah, that's a cool release for army builders. Plenty of people want more droids. Um, you know, uh, I'll accept that one. Um, and TIE Pilot. So we've, we've had all these in the vintage collection uh, before. There's nothing really new interesting about them. You could have put a good twist on these four characters um, because there are still Black Series three and three quarter inch figures from 2014 that they have yet to put out on vintage cards. Um, and I'll speak more about that coming up. But uh, I think it would be a perfect opportunity to put out the regular sort of regular outfit Anakin Skywalker that has just come out in the Black Series uh, on a brand new, beautiful Attack of the Clones card that would look fantastic. Also, they did a Padme Amidala in a sort of white suit from Geonosis. Um, that would be another great figure to put on a vintage card. So there you've got your Anakin, you've got a Padme out. Brand, like, old figures, brand new, beautiful cards. You get all your card collectors soaking that up. B1 Battle Droid. Give us a Marone one. Put it on a, put it on a uh, Attack of the Clones Geonosis sort of card. That would be fantastic too. And as for the Type Pilot... It's a little bit of a stretch, but uh, give it a little bit of a repaint. Give it an Inferno Squad re uh, deco. Uh, they did it in the Black Series line and released it as an exclusive through GameStop. And while the accuracy is not 100% there, it's still a cool release. Um, and that's probably more than enough to excite fans. Um, you know, you're always going to get you're always going to get a little bit of kickback from you know it's oh, it's just a repaint. Um, but you know that would be my aim with the line going forward if you want to put out old figures do something new with it don't just put out the same card they've just done it they've just done you know three or four waves of it already and they're just putting out old figures um 
and the card stock isn't even that great on the cards, so <laughs> it's a little bit disappointing. The other figure is Captain Rex. Now he's getting a he's getting a new vintage card. Sadly, it is the Captain Rex from the 2014 Black Series. Again, not a terrible figure, but with the exception of Commander Wolf that just came out. What you have there is an absolutely outstanding figure that I still need to review for my channel, so I will be doing that very soon. Um, that figure had the removable helmet. He was fantastic, absolutely amazing figure. Um, I am very well aware that Hasbro did a prototype of a Captain Rex with a removable helmet quite a few years ago, and instead they opted for what they put out in the Black Series, which again, I like that figure, but Captain Rex deserves better. Um, if you're going to put a lot of effort into Commander Wolf, put it into Rex. Um, that said, the card looks okay. Um, I could have... I don't know. I could probably find a better image than that. It looks okay. It's just, you know, Rex with his guns. It looks cool. You know, I'll go with it. I'll take... I'll give him that one. But, yeah, the figure needs a little bit more. So, six out of... That's five of the figures out of the six. So, the sixth figure is the Incinerator Stormtrooper. Uh, from The Mandalorian. This is a Walmart exclusive. Yes, it is a repaint of the brand new Stormtroopers. They've done Remnant Stormtroopers. They're going to put out Stormtroopers. That's... who cares? Um, he comes with a sweet backpack, flame through a flame effect, but it's a goddamn exclusive. <laughs> that does no good for me here in Australia. Um, I know there are retailers that will be able to pick it up and, you know, I will find a way to get it, but it's not going to be in that initial release when it drops at Walmart. So, you know, they did the same with the uh, Vintage Collection Han Solo Stormtrooper armor. That was an exclusive to, I think, Target over there in the US. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, that may have been a Walmart exclusive as well, but I did find a way to get that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait it out for that one. But yeah, one new figure out of six, and it's borderline new. Um, you know, that's just not quite cutting it for my for my um, thoughts. Um, I was hoping for more Mandalorian stuff, but we do have to remember Mando Mondays uh, going forward towards the end of the year. I don't think that kicks off quite yet. Maybe midway through October. I can't remember exactly when Mando Mondays kicks off. So I'm sure they're holding a little bit of product in reserve for that line. Um, you know, it's not all going to be figures. It's not all going to be toys. It's going to be some books, comics, etc. But I dare say that Hasbro will be holding back some figures for the reveals of Mando Mondays, and that'll really build the hype when Mandalorian kicks off on October 30. So, I've got my vintage collection out of the way. Let's move on. Black Series time. So, <laughs> I spoke about the very mixed reaction for the holiday edition figures that were um, sort of... A couple of them were leaked yesterday. The Stormtrooper and the Range Trooper, Imperial Stormtrooper and the Range Trooper. So we're getting five. Each one of these is designated its own local, its own individual retailer. Um, I can't remember which one's which, but I think Walmart's gonna get one, Target's gonna get one, Amazon's gonna get one, Best Buy's gonna get one. Um, and there was a fifth retailer, which I can't think of now. This is in the US only. Um, and I haven't seen any pre-order announcements from any Australian retailers, so chances are we're not gonna get them as well. Which, you know, as, as stupid as those figures are, I did say I'd buy, buy them, um, just because they're that silly. And I did point that out in my last video, so if you hadn't seen the last video, go and check it out, because I sort of did express why I'd get them. Um, but no major loss, because I can't get them, so I don't really care that much. Uh, we're finally getting Archive Wave 3, which, you know, is fine don't need archive figures all year round. They've they sort of said they'd be doing doing one or two waves a year, which is fine. Um, a little bit of an odd assortment. Um, Commander Cody, he was the one that won the van, the fan vote poll earlier in the year. Um, that was a no-brainer. Hasbro were going to do him anyway. I feel like all the votes for Cody were wasted. There was no doubt Hasbro was going to put Cody in the wave. They know what he's like on the secondary market. They know the fan desire for that figure, um, particularly for collectors that have jumped on since, since his initial release anyway. Um, so Cody was a no-brainer. That was always going to happen whether you voted for him or not. Um, Grand Admiral Thrawn, great figure. Um, 
I didn't realise he was so highly sought after, but that's cool. Um, I'm glad with the release of all the Rebels figures again, you know, it's getting Rebels back into the mindset of people and they're going to go want, want Grand, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, again, I didn't realise until now that how highly sought after he was and he is going for, you know, a reasonable price on eBay, but there are figures that are going for more. Uh, Hoth Luke, you know, old figure. You know, this is the purpose of the archive line. They're not they're not there to put out new figures. Uh, it is an updated version of Hoth Luke. This is this is one on my radar. This is one I will grab, um, mainly because of the photo real deco, and he doesn't have the scars from the Wampa fight. It's just a nice, clean Hoth Luke figure. Looks good. Um, again, it's outdated articulation. It's something they'll probably revisit in the next few years again anyway. Um, but yeah, again, it's been out for a long time. He was only available with the Wampa. Hasn't had a single release. Great one to get out for, for the collectors that have been on board for only a few years. Um, and lastly, for the archive, Wave 3 is Hoth Han Solo, which, again, not a terrible figure. They've just they've had two of him already. One came with the Tauntaun. Uh, he had the plastic hood up. Um, and more recently, they had the Hoth set with Leia where they updated Han's head. They gave him the new Bespin Han Solo head, got rid of the hood, and had like a soft goods hood around. This time, they're doing the first release, which had a blue jacket, but they're doing it in brown with a new face sculpt. Uh, not Probably not a new sculpt, but new paint apps anyway. Again, probably not a, not a, not a figure I'd put in an archive space. So again, while these figures don't really suit my needs... They suit a lot of other people's. We gotta, just got to think outwards a little bit sometimes with these reveals. Um, you know, Cody, Thrawn, Hoth, Hoth Luke will be mine. Um, that's 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 the one I'm after. So, and I might take a look at Hoth Han and see what, see how different he is. But I'm okay with the two that I have already. So it's no big deal. Uh, Hasbro Pulse, a new exclusive Black Series six inch figure, much like the same as Captain Rex that just came out. I do have a review of that on my channel. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, it is a different version of the Armorer. So out of those leaks that sort of happened in the last week or two, we were treated with pictures of the Armorer. She comes with, you know, a couple of her like armoring tools, <laughs> her blacksmith tools, um, and Instead of having the soft goods over her back, she had, it was plastic, which, you know, I was totally fine with that. Looks like that looked fine to me. Uh, this deluxe one's going to have actual soft goods. Um, she's going to come with a Mando helmet, some welding effects. Oh, I think the welding tools are going to be um, translucent. So it looks like they've, she's just had them under the fire and she's putting together the uh, uh, Mando's armor for him. Not bad set. Uh, personally, I'll probably, I might try and skip this one and just wait for the regular release. Uh, I don't really see too much difference between the two that justifies me buying both. Um, so that will be available sometime in the fall, which in the US it is fall now. So very near in the future. Um, I think they'll want to get this one out before uh, the regular release of the armor is put out in the wave. So they get people to jump onto Hasbro Pulse, buy the exclusive. Comes in the cool little slide out box like the Cad Bane, different artwork on the side to the regular release. So. We'll see that very soon too. Um, and they've also announced two deluxe Black Series figures. Um, these have been no-brainers for a long time. Both are slated for an April 2021 release, uh, according to some of the sites that have it up for pre-order already. Uh, this could be different depending on the site and where you are in the world. Um, first up is the Gungan Jar Jar Binks. I'm very excited for Jar Jar. Um, I'm a child of the 90s. I was born in 87. I was 11 when episode one came out. Jar Jar is my homeboy. <laughs> I understand the people that, you know, they don't admire him as much as others. Um, but I'm all for a black series Jar Jar Binks figure. Like, I, I want some more characters for my episode one stuff. Like, really cool. I'm really excited for Jar Jar Binks. Um, he comes with his staff. He comes with his... Boomer? Boomer? whatever, the, the blue ball, <laughs> and a shield. So um, it's it's kind of cool with those little additions. I'm sure Jar Jar will get an individual release in the Black Series down the line at some point too, just without those extra accessories. Um, next one, this is a big one. Boba Fett, Return of the Jedi, looks badass. Completely new figure, perfection. Looks fantastic. They're only digital mock-ups at this stage, um, but 
if that's any indication what the figure's gonna look like in person, take my money. Um, he's got flame effects, he has the zip line that comes out of his out of his armor, out of his uh, gauntlet. <laughs> that's the one word I'm thinking of. Um, and yeah, just as a, as a figure, it looks really, really good. Um, so you have no doubt that they're gonna repaint that one with Empire Strikes Back in the next couple of years too. Just saying, no brainer. <laughs> um, so yeah, Boba Fett's looking pretty sweet. Last figure that was revealed, got me all, got me all hot and sweaty. Um, as I said on Instagram in my stories, scared and horny. <laughs> um, at his dark side ray. <sighs> Someone turned down the heat. <laughs> no, I'm really, really excited for the Dark Ray figure. That looks so good. Again, only digital mock-ups for the moment. Um, but again, if the figure comes out looking anything like that, that'll be a that'll be a winner for me. Um, really, really impressed. The lightsaber flicks around. It does the closing sandwich thing. Um, and yeah, to be able to display her having a duel with you know normal Ray will be kick ass. You know, I'm really looking forward to that figure. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a no brainer. I think there's a, plenty of characters from the Rise of Skywalker that still could be put out first, but uh, I'll take Dark Ray, give it to me. But she has a release slated for January next year. So whether she'll be part of a future wave, um, that's more than likely. Look, it's nearly October. We're about to get wave 28. Um, so wave 29 was probably looking like maybe January, given that three month break. Um, maybe the wave after, who knows? We might get another wave before Christmas. All right, so just to finish up, they also revealed another Force FX Elite lightsaber um, being Ahsoka Tano's from the Clone Wars. And it is just her lightsaber, it's not her Shoto. So she's uh, it's only the one blade. Um, not getting the second one. I assume they'll bring the second one out at some point later. I know they've just revealed them for Disney's Galaxy's Edge as well. So you can go to the parks and get these two lightsabers, whereas Hasbro only putting out one of them. Um, it is color changeable from blue to green to sort of yellowy green. Um, so I guess they kind of want you to buy two, but they're different. So not to be. Um, still looks pretty cool though. I like what the Hasbro is doing with their Elite FX um, lightsabers way too out of my price range. They're like 500 bucks here. The Kylo Ren one that came out, that was 500. And I think the Revan one is maybe 380, maybe 400. Um, it might even be more than that. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at it. Yeah, when I saw the price, I sort of just got scared and ran off. So I chose not to look at it to deal with that pain ever again. All right, so that's pretty much everything from Hasbro Pulse Con 2020. Um, some exciting stuff, some not so exciting stuff. We've got a little bit of everything. There's a little bit to please everyone. Uh, hopefully, I really do hope so. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share my thoughts. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Like the video, that would be fantastic. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. So until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.